Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the point of interest indicators, as well as how to use some of the tools that are built in for it. Now, this has kind of been our theme this week, because there's all these cool things in Flight Sim that I, like, never use. It's actually kind of neat to play with. But first things first, I'm going to tap the Escape key, and we're going to go over to Assistance Options, and you're going to see this piece here that says Piloting. Now, we're going to skip all that, because we have all that. Instead, we're going to go to Points of Interest, and you're going to see there's a bunch of different options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my Smart Cam on, Landmarks on, City on, Airport on, Fauna on, a Display Direction of Chosen POI on, Display All Labels. Oh, this is kind of fun. I'm actually going to turn that on. So I'm going to press Apply and Save. I'm going to go back. I'm going to press Resume. And as soon as I do that, uh, you're going to see some things are going to start to appear on the screen. Let's go ahead and uh, get up in the air here. I uh, will do a pretty standard takeoff. It's a pretty high power takeoff, actually. You can tell it's summertime. And now if you look over in the distance, uh, you're going to notice that there are several very, very, very interesting points of interest. Now, the cool thing here is they actually change the style of the actual indicator of the point of interest depending on the nature of the point of interest itself. So uh, we're just uh, kind of a north and east of Boston here. Ooh. <laughs> um, yep, that's flight sim for you. I still love it. I don't care. It's kind of like flying Google Earth kind of a thing. Like, ooh. Yeah, I used to work in a place like that. All right, so we're going to proceed now. And what you're going to see is a variety of different types of markers. Now, what I am going to do here is I'm going to cheat just a tiny bit here. Uh, what I've done is I've actually increased time acceleration. So if you're wondering why everything is a little bit chunky here, it's because of that particular factor. And what you'll see is you'll have little markers here that are going to represent different types of points of interest. If I actually were to turn over this way and head over towards a Peabody, you'll notice that a little tiny icon that exists there is simply telling us that we have ourselves some kind of town. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, it does not make the marker any bigger, which is kind of a shame. But uh, now we know that we're flying over the town of Peabody, which is actually kind of handy. We can see over there on the right, uh, that's uh, Linfield. Now, if I swing over this way and I kind of head towards uh, Boston, let me go ahead and speed up time again. Oh, I think I did it too many times. There we go. Now we can come to Sega's there. We can say Norwood Memorial, by the way, is our destination. You'll actually notice, uh, based on the setting that we've done, if I get Norwood Memorial out of view, it automatically provides us a little arrow that reminds us exactly where it is. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of swing back this way and uh, continue our, making our journey. We're going on a journey. Now make our way there again. Linden. And the big thing I want to show off here is as we get into Boston proper is just the sheer number of little details uh, that they're going to be providing you with. Now notice again, because of the fact that you know this area is all city, you're going to have a bunch of different pieces like that. But another really cool component that you're going to have is you're actually going to have airports marked for you as well. So as I come over this way, for example, uh, you can see uh, Logan's uh, sitting there chilling there. It's gives me a little marker right there. Uh, we can see Tailwind Boston. We'll go ahead and slow down time a little bit here. You can see that that is uh, represented. It, uh, it's actually uh, basically a seaplane landing location there if we wanted to pick it. You can see a uh, Jeffrey's Point is over there on the right. Let's swing it over on this side. You can see all the different components. Now let me speed up time a little bit here. Enjoy a little kind of a cruise through Boston here. There's a downtown, which I think is absolutely wild. There are other types of markers that you're going to see as well. Now, if there's any specific uh, point of interest that can be fascinating for us, we could actually use it. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, slow down a little bit. Now, one of the options you probably noticed uh, when we're looking through those assists is it mentions something about the smart camera. Now, if you take a look here, we have Dorster Heights, and I'm going to press the S key. And it's going to snap to something that is interesting. Now, that target that it is locked onto is going to be the target that it is automatically doing. Now, if we wanted to change that target, you actually have to get yourself closer to one of the targets that you're doing. So now that I'm holding the S key, you can see that it keeps us nice and locked onto that particular position below us. Now, if I let go of the S key before my uh, character pukes all over the place, it's going to go ahead and uh, reset that back to our original position here. The neat thing about that is there's actually an achievement related to actually locking onto those particular targets and then holding them for a particular amount of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm first escape. I'll we'll head back over to the assistance options. We'll go back to POI. We'll go ahead and shut that all off. And now we're going to leave it basically just on landmarks. Now, the cool thing with landmarks here is you're going to get a little tiny bit of stuff here. There's not going to be a heck of a lot. Now, if I press resume, you'll notice that the world empties out on you almost instantly. And if I turn my head and I look around, you can see there doesn't seem to be much of anything out there that seems to be of a lot of interest to us because it only will do the fancy landmarks that are kind of built into the game and they're highly visible. Um, of course, Boston, most of you are probably saying that there's plenty of landmarks in Boston. Well, what is this thing doing? Why is it being so weird and goofy? Uh, the reality is, is that it has to be one of the marks that they actually move. So now don't worry, I'll take us to one. Now, that was an interesting exercise in uh, ground handling. 
<laughs> so you can see we're all the way here on the uh, tip of Cape Cod, and oh, my frame rate's a lot better than Boston. I wonder how Bostonians deal with that all day, especially like when you're like trying to like drive your car like backing up and you get all that choppiness. And it's it's kind of make it tricky. But you'll notice now that we have a visible landmark here. You know, the cool thing is that these are all the landmarks that uh, the flight simulator folks, the ones who did all the nice landscaping and everything, actually took the time to insert into this. And I will go sneak up on there. You notice, by the way, if I press and hold the S key, it continually locks onto a Norwood there. It's not necessarily the uh, target we should be interested in. But again, that's the nature of not using the manual control. Now you'll notice if I press the escape key and we head up to control options, I just want to share something with you real fast. If you go in here, we type in targets. Uh, it seems like a weird thing to search for in this program. You'll notice there's actually, you can toggle the smart cam target and you can also set a custom target. And they actually have a bunch of uh, previous ones that you can utilize here. This is control page up, control page down. So if I come up here and say control page up, let's hit the S, you can see it snaps my view over there. If I go to control page S, oh, apparently I shut all my engines off. You have to be careful which control you press there. It'll actually change only if you're on manual mode. If you remember, I was actually set to that on mode there that's uh, smart and automatic. So unfortunately, it doesn't automatically do those components for us, which makes it a little bit more difficult for us in that sort of a sense. Oh, it seems I've been riding the power a little high there. Yeah, but there it is right off our left-hand side there. That is the uh, lovely uh, Pilgrim Monument there. It's uh, kind of neat, uh, the Plymouth Monument rather. And it's, it, it's pretty slick, I'll give you that. And again, you can go ahead and press that and you can cycle that one to your heart's content. So as you can see, the POI markers and all that information is actually pretty cool. There's a lot of really, really useful stuff that you can get out of it. And at the same time, it also gives you kind of a neat opportunity to kind of learn about the environment as you're flying through it. Enjoy.